So, rumors are circulating that the next Galaxy S flagship will be powered exclusively by Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips. Analyst Ming Kai Kuo suggests that Qualcomm will be the sole SoC supplier for the Samsung Galaxy S25 due to the lower than expected yield of Samsung's 3 nanometer fabrication process intended for the Exynos 2500 chip. For the Galaxy S24 series, Qualcomm supplied about 40% of the chipsets, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip exclusively powering the Galaxy S24 Ultra in all markets. The Exynos 2400 powers the base Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus everywhere except the US, Canada, China, and Japan. In 2023, Samsung ditched Exynos chips for its flagship lineup a move that disappointed many when it was confirmed that Exynos would return with the Galaxy S24 series. However, the Exynos 2400 has proven to be an excellent chip, even if it doesn't match the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in every aspect. The Exynos 2500 remains largely a mystery. Rumors suggest that it might match or even surpass the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in power efficiency, thanks to Samsung's second-generation 3 nanometer fabrication process. Unfortunately, this process may not yield the desired results. Normally, Samsung ditching Exynos would be seen as positive, but this time it could have drawbacks. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is rumored to be significantly more expensive than its predecessors, which could compel Samsung to increase the prices of the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra. Typically, Samsung ditching Exynos would be a welcome move, but in this case, it could have negative repercussions. However, it's still early in the Galaxy S25 rumor cycle, so nothing is certain yet. Much could change in the coming months, and we may not get any solid information about the Galaxy S25 series until after the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6. While the shift to exclusively using Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips for the Galaxy S25 series might initially seem beneficial, it comes with its own set of challenges. The high cost of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could lead to higher prices for the new Galaxy S25 models, potentially affecting consumer reception. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Galaxy S25 series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.